Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. As far as the by-elections are concerned, Nelson Chamisa is heated up seriously right now, as it is alleged that the High Court ruling throws Chamisa's CCC camp into disarray and leaves so many CCC militants, supporters, veterans all in a place of discomfort. Before I give you all the entire details about what is ongoing, kindly do all to follow Jam Vibes, please like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. Firstly, while I was patrolling on the internet today, I came across this post by My Zimbabwe, and I'm going to be giving you all the entire details into this video based on what My Zimbabwe actually scripted down. The recent Supreme Court ruling against elected members of Citizens Coalition for Change has shaken the opposition party and left candidates and supporters uncertain about their participation in the other days by election. In a 40 towards development, ZANU PF candidate Pedzai Scott has been declared the legally elected member of the Mabvuku Tafara National Assembly after CCC candidate. Munyaradzi was barred from the court. The Election Commission of Zimbabwe, some few days ago, organized a meeting and sent a press release on November 7, 2023. The CPC requirement has the right to participate in the candidate based on the request of the Supreme Court as the Supreme Court asked and the court issued it by the decision of the High Court. Chabango later sought a high court order to block eight CCC-backed MPs led by Nelson Chamisa from standing for re-election, arguing that Zek had erred in accepting their nominations. Following the Supreme Court's ruling, Silangwana announced that all ballot papers containing the names of CCC candidates will be withdrawn, reprinted, and redistributed following a court order. However, the number of ballots to be printed has not changed. The Supreme Court's decision affected a total of 22 CCC candidates, including eight members elected through the first-past-the-post system. CCC spokesperson Pramis Mkwananzi and the party's electoral chief, Lamakone, held a press conference and announced they will contest the election after notifying Zek of the appeal. Mkwananzi said, we want to solve the problems related to the by-election. We understand that our legal team has successfully served the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, the ZEC, with summonses and letters through the Chief Electoral Officer, Utloile Silangwana, demanding that all legitimate candidates participate in the polls, including the other day's polls. There are by-elections, Mkwananzi said. Slangwana's statement that the candidate was eliminated has been dismissed on appeal to the court pending a decision on that appeal. Mkwananzi accused Zanu PF of orchestrating the chaos surrounding the snap election, saying the ruling party feared the real political momentum and support gathered by the CCC and its leader Nelson Chamisa. Makone echoed Mkwananzi's comments, emphasizing participation in the electoral process and urging citizens to turn out in large numbers to support legitimate candidates. Uncertainty over the by-election extended to open seats in Bedbridge West and Bulawayo, further complicating an already contentious political environment. Opposition parties are grappling with legal and electoral issues as they eagerly await the result of the by-elections that will shape Zimbabwe's future political landscape. Without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to go immediately onto the comment section and give me your honest opinions based on what you think and feel in respect to everything being said and alleged in today's video. I love you all so dearly. Do want to take good care of yourselves. Come back here for more updated gist and vibes. And yo, see you all in our subsequent upload.